Evergreen forests cover low rolling hills around a farm valley. Antlers rest outside a cabin. Three circular ton bales of hay sit on a trailer. A horse saddle hangs in a shed. A woman in her early 30s with an intellectual disability brushes a horse. Title, Andrea. Subtitle, Andrea. We were troublemakers. We used to sneak out of the yard <laughs> when mom wasn't looking when we were younger and go on the highway up to my grandma and grandpa's because they lived up the road from us. Joel. We were pretty free as kids. Uh, we had a lot of space without having to worry about getting hurt too much. Sarah, Andrea's mom. Well, Andrea loved her little brother. You know, he got old enough to walk around and realized that she's a wonderful partner in crime and they could get into so much more trouble together than just himself. She had this little electric Jeep and I remember her one time going into a ditch and flipping it right upside down <laughs> and just being stuck in it upside down. And she, I don't know if she started crying or right away was just like needed help. And you know, I just ran over to her and got her out of the Jeep, flipped her back up, you know, and then got her going again. Andrea rides a ski doo alongside her brother, Joel. She probably stopped using her walker maybe sooner than she even should have and just fell down a lot, but she was just very determined. My brother can do it, I can do it. A photo album lies open, subtitle Andrea. Siblings are usually troublemakers. <laughs> I actually had to go to the school and be with her at lunch hours and different times to kind of provide support for her. So it was, a, it was actually a little more challenging moving here at the beginning, finding that kind of family support. In a picture, Andrea rides a bike as a child. Andrea sees, you know, Joel being able to go out, um, you know, and live on his own and support himself and, you know, find relationships, um, go to school, that kind of thing. and. You know, that, that definitely stirs up the desire in her heart. It's like, well, he can do it. I can do it too. I was walking at the school district, doing paperwork and stuff and helping out there. It, it worked for me because I got paychecks and stuff, money. Andrea laughs with coworkers. And she's a very social person, so some of the other jobs, you know, um, which were great for her to have, but they were in settings that were not very social. She didn't have, you know, kind of connection and access to other people, and she wasn't building relationships. She'd just go in and, you know, do her work in a back room kind of thing. And she loved making the money, and it made her feel good to do it, but it wasn't, it wasn't very emotionally or socially satisfying for her. A sign reads, Fort St. John welcomes you. In 2017, we matched with the city, and one of the potential matches was at the pool. And Andrea was so excited when she heard about it. It took them a while to get, you know, everything in place. So, and in Andrea's mind, when she's gonna start something, well, she's ready tomorrow, she's ready, right? So, I mean, and it did take quite a number of months, maybe even a full year before, you know, the first day to start actually came. And so for her, it just feels like life is always getting stalled out. There's always one more thing. It's always another year and another year. So, you know, there's a lot of kind of straining against that very slow build in momentum. Um, so I think a lot of our discussions are centered around that is just the frustration at how long everything takes and kind of the support isn't all, you know, there for her. Charity. Andrea at first was very kind of shy, a little bit reserved, um, but as kind of the team got to know her, she really kind of came out of her shell and started joking around with the staff and being more as like a fellow team member. She's a bit of a trickster and a jokester and, and very sassy. Andrea stands at the top of a water slide, subtitle producer. Why were you excited to get this job? Um, uh, what was, why, why, why was I excited? Oh yeah, um, money. Charity, recreation programmer. My, um, biggest concern with Andrea was I felt that she had more potential than just coming in and wiping down tables. Um, and I had a conversation separate from um, her team at Community Living, and it was how can we kind of bring more 
um, purpose to her role here um, at the facility and eventually maybe moving into maybe something with a little bit more purpose and a little bit more scope. And um, so I chatted with Andrea about becoming a slide attendant and she was like, yes, that's what I want to do. And so we started making the plans to get her certifications, her first aid, um, getting her into uh, swimming qualifications in order to, to assume that role. And so I just like... Subtitle Andrea. Working at the pool. It, it makes, makes me, me... I could, I could like, like live, live there, there if I had to. Like, every time I go to work, it makes me feel excited. Sherry, Inclusion and Employment Manager. Andrea is kind of our home star now. Um, when she first started, she was shy, and you'd just hear her giggle in the corner here and there, and to now where she works independently, and she has friends there, and she sits in the coffee room or goes in the office and just chats with people and her self-confidence has grown significantly. She comes to events and she'll do speeches and she's really come out of her shell. She's gained more independence and that more self-awareness and definitely more of a hunger to, to actually like have her own. Place. Andrea's photo hangs on a wall, subtitle Andrea. When, when I, I think, think about the future, future so I, I look forward to own. moving out on my own. Being, being more independent, independent getting engaged, getting, getting married, uh, um, starting, starting a life. She holds hands with a young man. Well, Andrea has been, you know, talking about moving out on her own for a while. And for me, I mean, I would encourage that in her, but I didn't, I didn't know how it would be possible. Subtitle Andrea. I'm not, I'm not worried, worried because I know, I know where I am going in life, and they, and they don't, don't need to worry about me. Caption, an adult with an intellectual or developmental disability is 2.5 times less likely to be employed than the average Canadian without a disability. It doesn't have to be this way. Everyone deserves a chance to work, and more inclusive workplaces benefit us all. www.inclusionbc.org. Logos, Inclusion BC, Fort St. John Association for Community Living.